Oh, here we go. I like what I see here on the top. Welcome to the most passionate content for card collectors on YouTube and possibly the whole entire internet. As usual, I am your host, Jake Roy, 90s b-ball cards here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, sometimes some TikTok. I've been doing a little bit better posting there. Interestingly enough, a little aside, I posted on TikTok, tried to put that on Instagram. Instagram blocked it, even though it was content from Card Ladder, and I tagged them in it and had their permission. Anyway, uh, still putting out some stuff on TikTok and trying to share it wherever I can, when I can. But anyway, let's get into today's video. I'm really excited about these packs. These are some packs that we've opened in the past, some packs that we have some great fire to share and talk about, and hopefully we can pull more. And stay tuned to the end. I also have another exciting announcement at the end of the video today, so let's jump right into all that. Yes, today we are opening packs of 1993-94 Ultra, Fleer Ultra, as we called it back in the day, now it's just called Ultra. So these are Series 1 packs, and that is very important for one key, simple reason. The insert that we're looking for in all of 93-94 Fleer Ultra is the Scoring Kings insert, and they are only in Series 1, and they're only in Hobby Packs. We'll talk more in detail, but Series 2, there are some other things like Power and the Key and the Rookies getting a Penny Hardaway rookie is always nice, but Series 1 is really where the fire is in this year's product. So that's what we're opening up today. Like I said, we've talked about these before. Uh, lots of fun stuff in here to talk about, but really what we're looking for is Scoring Kings, specifically the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings. So let's get right into the fire and talk more about that. Here we have got some of the fire from these packs. In my PC, we are missing one insert set. We will talk about that anyway. But uh, let's start right here. So here we've got a Larry Johnson. This is the All NBA team. So these just feature all the players who were on the All NBA team at the end of the 92 93 season. So Larry Johnson, one of those great players early in the 90s. Love this card. So these, you know, with all the insert sets, not terribly easy to pull. So these were one in 16 packs. Uh, not really a lot of value in this. There is a Michael Jordan in this set, but you're probably looking at about 10 bucks. You know, condition can be an issue with these uh, because of the way the packs come out. We'll talk more about those, uh, but nothing really too spectacular, but definitely fun players from the 90s to pull in here. So Larry Johnson definitely in that category as well. One in 16 packs for those. The next one here is the Carl Malone career highlights, or they just call them Carl Malone at this point. So these are, as they seem, <laughs> an insert set all about Carl Malone, who, as we all know, is not my favorite player in the world. So <laughs> um, nothing that I'm going to get terribly excited about. But there are a lot of Carl Malone fans out there that really like these. Uh, and I thought this was an appropriate one for Malone there with the He spent a lot of time in the weight room. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, these are one in 16 packs. Uh, and like I said, they're all Carl Malone. But you might be familiar also that there are autographs from this. Those to my knowledge anyway, were not pack pulled. Those were a mail-in offer, and there were only about 2,000 of those printed. They are very hard to find, uh, pretty valuable. You know, Carl Malone did not sign a lot of autographs in general, so uh, Carl Malone autographs can be very hard to come by. So these are definitely something that Carl Malone collectors, Utah Jazz fans, you know, all those kind of folks uh, definitely are searching for at times. So, uh, you know, they weren't serial numbered, but that's what the approximate print run was on those. Uh, the one I, I failed to grab one out of my collection uh, is the All Rookies. So those were one in 24 packs. Obviously, Shaq is going to be the headliner there. So it's the players who were named to the All Rookie team uh, from the 92-93 season. So, you know, like I said, Shaq is going to be the big guy. Obviously, you've got other players that were big in that year, like Alonzo Mourning. Uh, I believe Tom Gugliotta is in there with Jordan in the background. So shadow cards are becoming popular in, in 2021. So that can be a fun one for folks that like Googs and Jordan. Uh, and Alonzo Mourning, Christian Leitner are some of the highlights from that set. Again, not a ton of value outside of that shack, and that shack is a fun one, him busting kind of through that hardwood. Um, you know, but again, nothing too expensive there for those one in 24 packs, so not the easiest to pull. And here's what we all really came here for, the scoring king. So here we've got a Jordan. This is one that I've had for a while, got a PSA graded recently, got a seven. Uh, and these are not easy to grade by any means. Uh, you know, so this is one of those iconic, just absolutely all-time great insert sets. 
really one of the very first chase cards. Uh, you know, this and the Beam Team set are really the ones that stand out as the early chase insert cards. One in 36 packs, so one per box. Again, only in the hobby packs. So if you're looking at something that does not have it denoted, and we'll talk a little bit more when we get to the packs uh, on the front, then scoring teams aren't going to be in there. Only in Series 1. So this has all of the top stars at that point in time, obviously Jordan being the main one. And, um, you know, those guys are all very sought after still. So Jordan and Shaq are the two top names on there. The Dominique Wilkins and that Hawks uniform is one of those that isn't the true retro that we think of, uh, kind of the in-between that they only wore for a couple of years in the 90s. So fun stuff on that one. Uh, David Robinson's another one I love. Charles Barkley, uh, Alonzo Mornings in there. So tons of great big name players. Now these also are where the value is or the, you know, the stuff that's really gonna generate a lot of uh, excitement for their value on the market. So the Jordan Raw is very difficult to price because they are so condition sensitive. Like I said, with the foil on the front, uh, it's all dark and then on the back, it's also dark as well. So, you know, any sort of chips or dings or corner wear shows very easily. So like I said, condition is very key on these. So a raw Jordan, depending on the condition, is about $700. Now I've seen them go as low as $400 and as high as just about $1,000 raw. So if they look like they're in good shape, they can sell just as well, if not better than graded copies. And if they don't look like they're great or it's a little questionable, then the price will reflect that. So. You know, this seven is about seven or eight hundred dollars, so a tick higher than the average for a raw card on a seven. So, you know, you can look at a six and that's probably going to be a little bit below uh, what a raw card would sell for. So that's kind of what you're gearing yourself towards. An eight, you're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars for the Jordan. Uh, you know, that's PSA eight. A PSA nine, you're looking at over four thousand dollars and then a PSA ten. And when I say PSA 10, those are extraordinarily rare. Last I looked, the population count was at about 100. Uh, so they are very hard to come by. And a PSA 10, you're looking at, the last I saw, sold for over $19,000. So if we get one out of one of these packs and it looks really clean and all that kind of stuff, very exciting moment for sure. Uh, a BGS 9.5 is about $4,000. So uh, a 9.5 in BGS of this is right on par with a PSA 9. Uh, Shaq, like I said, is the other guy that's really uh, bringing some value. So a raw copy of that, you're looking at 90 to to $100. Again, depending on condition, Charles Barkley, 40 bucks. Uh, David Robinson, you're looking at 30 to $40. Uh, you know, so those are really some exciting ones to try to get. The Shaq, just to, for comparison's sake, in a PSA 10, also extremely rare, but the Jordan where it's 19,000, the Shaq in a PSA 10 is about $3,000. Uh, Shaq in a PSA 9 is about 500 to $600, whereas the uh, Jordan is 4,000. So uh, that's an idea of the value that we're looking at for the two top players, and then uh, they go down from there. So let's get right into those packs and hope we pull some great fire. All right, so here we've got the packs. We have 13 packs. Before we bust in, we've got 14 cards per pack. A couple of things to denote. Like I said, if the numbers or the, the scoring kings is not mentioned on the front, it is not going to be in these packs. It's not as easy to tell which ones are hobby and which ones aren't, but they highlight all the inserts right in this little yellow bubble. So if you're looking at a pack, you're not really sure, try to zoom in, look at that, and see if you can make out scoring kings. It'll be right on the top there, right under where they have the car and stuff highlighted. So that's an interesting thing that I want to make sure to note. There is also a pretty good chance of sticking in these packs. I have opened packs from series two in the past that have stuck a ton. I've opened series one packs, didn't stick much. It really all depends on how they were stored over the number of years that they've been out. So uh, no telling how these will turn out. Hopefully we don't get a lot of sticking. And especially if we get something that is noteworthy, like a scoring Kings, hopefully that is not stuck to the card in front or behind it. So lots of things can go wrong. Lots of things could go right. Another thing, um, you know, always love the comments on YouTube. Some, uh, you know, always optimistic comments. So <laughs> before anybody says anything, somebody had said, you know, yeah, I probably got packs from somebody that had already gotten the scoring Kings. And this is where it pays to know people and have good relationships in the hobby. These come from a sealed box. Somebody that I know had a sealed box and split the pack between myself and one other person. I got 13 of them. That's, that's what I decided I wanted. And the other person got the rest. So one of us has a scoring Kings. That's almost a guarantee. Uh, hopefully it's ours and hopefully these were stored well and they aren't 
going to be stuck. So for anybody hoping that I might get skunked, uh, at least know that there's a good shot that somebody... All right, sorry. Hopefully I have figured out the issue with... Uh, those recordings uh but in case we missed it so we pulled the all nba of Derek coleman so one in 16 packs for that we only have 13 packs already beat the odds hopefully we continue still we're doing really well with sticking all right we've got the x xavier mcdaniel nice nice photo there with dominique wilkins throwing down a dunk got dale davis for the pacers fans stacy king Classic Bull. Vernon Maxwell. Loved him with the Rockets. There we go with a Bryant Stith. We've got an, an older years Elvin Robertson. He was great. Hakeem the Dream. A very nice photo there for Hakeem as well. Uh, Mara Stukas, I think is how you say his name. I'm, I'm bad with his name. <laughs> so, Olden Polonies, not Scotty Pippen. Dikembe. Love that. Doing well with Nuggets. Sean Rooks. Uh, we've got a Larry Nance and Hersey Hawkins traded to the Hornets. All right, Steve Smith. We've got Blue Edwards. There's Patrick Ewing. Rookie of Bobby Hurley. Draft a suit. Love that. Sean Kemp. Very nice. We've got Cliff Robinson. Uncle Cliff. Tom Gugliata. Talk about him earlier. Uh, Jay Humphreys. John Starks against the Bulls. Classic matchup. Mark West. There we go with a rookie of George Lynch. Lee Mayberry. Anthony Mason with the Knicks. Love that. Lionel Simmons. All right. We've got Doug Smith. Go with John Paxson for the Bulls fans. David Wingate. Robert Parrish. Kevin Willis. Love that. That's the Hawks uniform I was talking about earlier. We've got a Vern Fleming. Scott Burrell rookie. Saw him plenty with the last dance card in the back. No. Otis Thorpe. Very nice. Reggie Williams. Love that. Rodman with the Pistons right before he went to the Spurs. <laughs> Kenny Smith from the dunk contest. I always thought that was a funny picture there. Uh, we've got a Malcolm McKay rookie. Johnny Newman. Oh, here we go with another insert. So this is the Carl Malone that we were talking about. Uh, him in a casual outfit there. Gotta love the 90s. Rocking some LA gear. Doing really well with inserts. All right, another Joe Dumars, Lafonso Ellis, Derek Harper. We've seen this collation before, but <laughs> it was actually that pack that might have gotten cut out. Brad Doherty, rookie of Corey Blount, Del Curry, Steph Staddy, D Brown throwing down a dunk. All right, here's some different guys. Mookie Blaylock, got Matt Bullard. Uh, we have here Victor Alexander. We've got a Mark Aguirre in his latter years. Muhammad Abdul Raouf, formerly known as Chris Jackson. Terry Davis and Sam the Percolator Perkins with the Sonics. Loved him. Oh, yes. Everybody's friend, the checklist. Gotta love that. Here we go, David Robinson. I do love that one. Orlando Woolrich. Hey, somebody from the Magic, Jeff Turner. Not my favorite guy from the Magic. Rex Walters, rookie. Glenn Rice with the Heat. I do love that one. Anthony Avent. Greg Anthony. Danny Ainge, Celtics fans. There you go. Michael Cage, we saw him in the first pack. Another Clyde Drexler collation is proving to be consistent. Michael Adams, David Benoit. And who do we have here? Larry Stewart. Oh, here we go. I like what I see here on the top. Michael Jordan. That is a great picture there against Barkley. Really love that. Hopefully we see him in another card coming up. We'll see. Alonzo Mourning. Another great one. Kevin Gamble. Oh, got a card on the back. Please no sticking. Nope. 
just my fat fingers. Adam Keefe, Robert Horry, Big Shot Bob. All right, who do we have here? Brian Hudson, Houston, Brian Houston, my bad. Terry Mills, we've got a Mark Macon, McCone, I don't know, Jimmy Jackson. Rookie of Chris Mills. Horace Grant, love him with those rec specs. We'll throw him in there. Larry Johnson, another guy I loved. Rick Fox. Oh, nice. John Stockton. I did love John Stockton. Still do. Great point guard. Let's keep this going. <laughs> another insert. All right. We're doing well here. Uh, Bailey, there we go, Sean Bradley, number two pick overall, very nice, Dwayne Coswell, got Buck Williams, we got a, who's this, Leanne, the Bradford Smith, not familiar, for some reason that name rings a bell, but I am not familiar with him, uh, Carl Malone, maybe that's or something in the last dance with him, I can't remember, anyway, Anthony Bowie, Derek Coleman, Gary Payton, love that, against Kevin Johnson. Uh, Anthony, Antoine Carr, uh, Christian Leitner, everybody loves Chris. Johnny Dawkins, Mitch Richmond, Hall of Famer, and another Carl Malone, not bad. All right, four packs left, nine down. All right, another Le Bradford Smith. Carl Malone, we've seen this collation. Anthony Bowie, Derek Coleman, Gary Payton, Anton Carr, Christian Leitner, Johnny Dawkins, Mitch Richmond. I'll put him in the commons now, just in case people will get upset. You know, Hersey Hawkins, Larry Stewart. There we go, another John Stockton. Love that. Shaq, we're getting all the stars from the base set. It's a great picture there of Shaq, too. Lloyd Daniels. Hersey Hawkins. Larry Stewart again. Another John Stockton. Another Shaq. Not mad at that. Rick Mahorn. Is that Rick? Yeah. Is that Mark? Yeah. Rick Mahorn. Sorry. <laughs> Sam Perkins. I want to make sure I'm getting the names right, right? Lloyd Daniels. Chuck Person, Puck Cherson, as I like to call him. Jeff Hornacek with the Sixers. Lionel Simmons. We've got an Eddie, or er, Ernie Johnson. Uh, nothing on the back there. Avery Johnson. And a rookie of Luther Wright. Oh, I'm messing up here. Losing the steam. Doug West. All right, two packs left. Two more shots at a scoring team. Dennis Scott, do love that one. Chris Morris, got a Ricky Pierce, Sean Elliott for that brief stint with the Pistons. Doug West, Tim Perry, uh, Wayne Wayman Tisdale, another checklist, the other checklist. Everybody's friend, J.R. Reed. We got an Eric Murdoch, Scott Skiles, nice one with the Magic. Uh, Ramel Robinson and Walt Williams. Oh, no, one more, one more. Can't forget about Ricky Pierce. All right, last pack, last chance for our Scoring Kings. We've done great with inserts, got three already, already beat the odds. Really want to see Scoring Kings. All right, not sure which end to start from, but let's go. Doug Edwards, rookie, Carl Herrera. Tim Hardaway with the Warriors, I like that. Bill Lambeer, I loved watching him. Rookie of Vin Baker. Uh, Donald Hodge. Got a Danny Ferry. Got another Bill Cartwright. Kenny Gaddison. Sherman Douglas. Dwayne Farrell. Sam Cassell, rookie. Another Chris Gatling, and hey, a third Shaq. Not mad about that at all. We beat the odds. We did very well compared to the odds. Didn't get what we came here for, the scoring king, so uh, be interested to hear the uh, guy that got the rest of the packs. 
uh, what scoring canes he ended up pulling. I have heard some rumors that there is a specific collation to the packs in these boxes, so there's a certain specific positioning of the pack that usually has the scoring canes. I haven't tested that theory. Uh, I didn't open full boxes of this product when I was a kid, so don't know the validity to that, but if you know a little bit more about that, drop that down in the comments. I would love to learn more. Uh, I know a lot of companies do some things with collations of boxes and packs and cases uh, that is kind of consistent, so you can kind of scope out the hits if you uh, if you know the secret to their madness. So uh, always interesting to learn some of those, especially back in the 90s. But uh, like I said at the beginning, there is an exciting announcement. So for the question of the day, it goes along with the announcement. Uh, are you following the Instagram account Sports Cards Uncut? So I will link that up if I can figure that out <laughs> down in the description. Uh, but go check out that Instagram account. That is my second Instagram account. And the reason that I have that is because my friend Joe and I are starting up a podcast all about sports cards. So that is the exciting announcement. So that is going to be coming soon. Not a specific date on the release of that. We're still working out some things. Uh, he's still clearing some things on his calendar. But we are, we've been planning this for a while. We're going to do kind of a buddy comedy type of uh, thing with some current events in our takes. Uh, and it's not just going to be 90s and just basketball. It's going to be all kinds of sports cards in all eras. So looking forward to sharing that. So that's the announcement of the day. Let me know if you are already following that account. And if not, please give that account a follow to get more updates, news, and also see some more of the information and the stuff that we're going to be putting out on there. Some other things that you won't see on my Instagram account will go over on there between Joe and myself. So lots of exciting things there. Go give that a follow if you can. Would we'll really appreciate that. Uh, you know, so these were fun packs. Like I said, we didn't get the scoring canes. I already have the Jordan. Always happy to get another one. But I was very pleased to see that we did not have any sticking. Uh, so that is very rare, like I said, and it really goes to show the person that I got these from stored them well, or they got them from somebody who stored them well. I don't know the provenance of these packs exactly, but uh, that goes to show you having a trusted and reliable source is always beneficial and creating good relationships in the hobby to be able to source things like this is always beneficial as well. So lots of fun. Uh, so go check out the Instagram account. Thank you for watching and joining the great passion, this great hobby. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos, pack openings like this, collector interviews, looks into my PC, and so much more always dropping on Wednesdays if I can get the upload in time. <laughs> We've had some issues with that lately. Uh, any bonus content will drop on Fridays, again, unless I get the upload wrong, and then sometimes the main video will be on Friday. But anyway, that's an aside from last week. <laughs> New content always on Wednesdays. Any bonus content will be on Fridays. Thanks. We'll talk later.